everyone, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2019 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 11. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 11. Okay, this is question 11 and this question is testing us on angles. Let's read the question for part A first. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. So here is a a, B, C, D. Okay, so this is a trapezium. E, C is equal to E, D. So here is E, C and here is E, D. Okay. And A, D, E is a straight line. A, D, E is a straight line. Okay. So for part A, they are telling us to find angle C, E, D. Where is C, E, D? It's over here. Okay. So this is angle C, E, D. So, First, let's analyze the figure, okay? So, they're telling us that A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Trapezium have one set of parallel lines, okay? And E, C is equal to E, D, right? So, E, C is equal to E, D. So, actually, triangle C, E, D is equal to an isosceles triangle, okay? So, let me write it down. Triangle C, D, E. Wait, let me write that down again. Okay. So actually, let me just note it down over here that triangle CDE is equal to isosceles. Okay. So this is what I meant. So this is actually isosceles triangle. So these two angles are actually the same. Okay. The base angles. Okay. So ADE is a straight line. Why is ADE? So this is ADE, right? Since ADE is a straight line, although um, only this area, only line BC is parallel to AD, right? But in this case, since ADE is a straight line, line BC is totally parallel to line ADE. So let me erase this area over here and write down over here in the middle so that it applies to the whole length. Okay? So I hope you understand that. And they are telling us to find angle CED, which is over here. Okay? So first, I'm going to use this property known as alternate angles and I've explained this property in another video. Okay, so here is the alternate angle. Okay, so alternate angle is basically when there is two parallel lines. Okay, there's two parallel lines and thereby there's a connecting line over there. And when we have the value of one of the angles here, this angle over here will be the same angle. So th this is the same value as this angle over here. So this is basically alternate angle. So alternate angles is basically a Z. But in the Z, these two lines are parallel. Okay. So this angle is equal to this angle. Okay. So for first step, I'm going to write angle CDE is equal to angle B, C, D. So, C, D, E over here is equal to B, C, D because it is 30 degrees. So, let me write it down over here which this is 30 degrees as well. Okay, so now you see something, right? This triangle is isosceles, right? And this base angle is 30 degrees. So, this should be also 30 degrees. That is why angle C, D, E is equal to angle D, C, E equals to 30 degrees and this is because of the base angles in the isosceles triangle. Okay, let me erase the isos, the, the alternate angles, okay? After that, let me label this 30 again. And we know that this is a triangle, right? Let me erase the highlighted portions so that we can see clearly. Okay, so we know that this triangle over here, triangle C, D, E, this is a triangle, right? So in a triangle, there is 180 degrees and we already found two angles. So it's really easy to find angle CED. So angle CED is basically 180 degrees minus 230 degrees. It will give us 120 degrees and this is the answer for part A. 
okay so i hope you understand this okay so this is the answer for part a now let's move on to part b let's read it first the figure above is not drawn to scale each of the statements below is either true false or not possible to tell from the information given for each statement put a tick to indicate your answer so we should either put true false or not possible to tell okay so the first statement is abd is an equilateral triangle okay where is abd let me erase the highlighted portion okay so where is abd okay it is over here right so this is abd okay what are equilateral triangles okay let me show you how does the equilateral triangle look over here okay so this is an equilateral triangle okay so all the sides are equal and all the angles are 60 degrees so this is the property okay of the equilateral triangle but here in this triangle there's actually one of the angles which is 70 degrees so it's already false so the answer is false for the first statement the next statement a b c e is a parallelogram okay where is a b c e let me erase the highlighted portion okay where is a b c e so a is here a b c and e is this a parallelogram okay we actually we actually know that it is false because only these two lines are parallel to each other this line is not parallel to this line so it is wrong so it is also false okay so let me erase the highlighted portion okay now for the last statement let's read it bd is perpendicular to dc where is bd b and d is over here okay so let me show you where is it so bd is over here and where is dc and dc is over here okay okay that's actually a problem here because we do not know if this is perpendicular okay what does actually perpendicular mean i i think you do not know this so let me show you so perpendicular means that it's actually two lines okay okay so this line meets at a right angle so imagine this is b and this is d okay and this is c so when these two lines meet at a right angle that means that these two lines are perpendicular to each other okay so this is basically what perpendicular means but we do not know if this it's a right angle right so basically we cannot it is not possible to tell whether this is these two lines are perpendicular to each other okay so this is how you derive the answer okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question question 11 and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye